I want to get in a question about another case here, um, one that, that may have similar implications. This is a man in Illinois, 42 year old Michael Allison, who's facing 75 years behind bars. Uh, I think we have some video of him. Um, from what I understand, the crime that he committed is recording police officers. This is a crime illegal in a dozen states, including Illinois, where he's from, recording audio of law enforcement without their consent. Now, he faces the same punishment as rapists, as murderers. Alex, what is going on here? What is the bigger picture in this? Okay, well, it's just like the government says it's the law, you've got to take vaccines. There is no law. Uh, just because they can get a jury to convict somebody uh, doesn't mean that the statute was applicable. And the First Circuit Court of the U.S., before the Supreme Court, ruled yesterday that all of this is illegal. But you're right, in 12 states, they're arresting people who film police on the street, city council. Uh, some people have gotten five to 12 years in prison and are serving terms uh, because the police get up and say it's illegal. The jurors believe it. Uh, eavesdropping or wiretapping is when it's secret and the other person doesn't know. But when you're in public, there's no perception of privacy. That's why a police officer can have a squad car camera or why when you go in a store, they can have cameras because you know it's a public area. So it's a giant hoax that it is illegal. And it really is the scariest thing I've seen in a long time that the police would knowingly try to put this guy in prison for life for simply video taping them in public. It is incredible. And, and yes, they're technically claiming the audio of the video is the wiretapping, but wiretapping is coming up to the side of your house and putting a recorder on the wire. It is not filming police in public. Really, really interesting implications. A lot of critics of these laws saying, you know, the police might be out there to serve and pr protect, but there are so many examples of them doing some pretty harsh things. So who's going to watch them? Um, just a lot of interesting stuff here. Radio host Alex Jones in Austin, Texas.